Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. We begin at 5 with exclusive breaking news. Security camera video of the very moment the fire broke out at Buff Wayland Chevrolet, and it is stunning. It is absolutely incredible that the janitor wasn't hurt when the fire was sparked while he scrubbed the floor. The dealership gave us the video looking to clear the air and show exactly what happened and just how quickly that fire got out of control. Watch this must see video as Rod Maloney takes us through it. This is the wildly explosive scene. A lone cleaning service worker scrambles and then falls down, his hands and pants on fire, as a puddle of gasoline bursts in a flame underneath his scrubbing machine. The fire spreads across the floor to the shop drain. He left immediately and made a 911 call. I was scrubbing the shop floors, and I think there was a gas tank on the ground, and I think there was fuel leaking out of it. When I went over it, it exploded, and I didn't mean to go over it. Because I knew there was gas, I tried going around it, and I must have barely touched it, and the thing exploded. That's the frantic and even wishful thinking version of what happened. A review of the security video shows what really happened, and it's quite different. 718, he's spreading cleaning fluid. By 720, he knocks over a canister with gasoline inside. He picks up the canister, and there can be no doubt he smells the gas and feels it on his hands. If you look at what happens as he writes the container and walks away, the gasoline starts spreading all across the floor. Two minutes later, the gasoline spreads still farther with two massive, vaporous, flammable puddles. About a minute later, at 7.23, the cleaner continues working, and unlike his frantic characterization about barely touching the gasoline or trying to even avoid it, he runs his cleaning machine right through the gasoline puddles, and foom, it sparks a fire that is certain to have damage running in the millions of dollars. At this point, the fire seems controllable, so the janitor runs for a fire extinguisher and tries to put it out, but gasoline fires rarely go down easily. The fire department characterizes the janitor's actions as careless and yet still an accident, and it's a reminder to all of us to pay close attention around spilled gasoline. So we want to be clear, there are no charges pending against that janitor. Uh, the fire department is saying this was purely and clearly an accident, no charges pending. In the meantime, the dealership is still trying to procure that, uh, that space, the place where they can actually fi ca fix cars and trucks, and they say it's going to be a while before they get there, but they are working on that as we speak. Back to you. And they are open for business from what I understand, Rod, and that janitor is going to be okay. But what else do we know about him and the company perhaps that he works for? Well, um, we, we know the name of the company. We know the name of the person who was the janitor there. Uh, because there are no charges, we certainly don't want to uh, expose them necessarily or unnecessarily. The dealership doesn't really want to talk about who they are. The bottom line here is we went and knocked on the door of the janitor, and uh, while he was home, he didn't answer the door. We put in a call to the cleaning company, and so far they have not returned any calls to find out if, in fact, he has a job or not, because he said in that 911 call that uh, I am so fired is what he was saying to the operator uh, and so we don't know what is to become of him or the cleaning company. Yeah. Okay, keep us posted, Rod. Thank you. And if you'd like to listen to that 911 call or check out that incredible security camera video again, we posted it on clickondetroit.com. You can find the link right in the top stories section on our homepage. Karen.